This video will give you an overview of how to add users and assign roles in SAP Cloud ALM. Use the User Management app on the SAP Cloud ALM Launchpad to manage or display users and their roles based on your authorization. Before using the User Management app, ensure that you have the User Administrator or User Viewer roles assigned to your user. The User Administrator role allows you to create and manage users as well as assign and approve authorizations. The User Viewer role allows you to view users and their authorization assignments only. Open the User Management app. In the overview, you will see the number of users per application area and per status. Choose the Users button in the upper right corner to open the user list. Here, the user card of each user in SAP Cloud ALM is displayed, listing basic details like name, user ID, email, and assigned roles. To change a user's role assignment, select the user card to open their details. You'll see their current role assignments grouped by application areas. To change the assignment, choose Edit. Let's update the role in Process Management. Select Process Administrator from the list. Once done, choose Save. The changes will become effective with the user's next logon. You can also maintain role assignments in the BTP cockpit of your SAP Cloud ALM tenant. Open the User Configuration in the Security section. Search for the user and select them. To add authorizations, choose Assign Role Collection. The roles of SAP Cloud ALM are displayed as role collections here. This means that a role collection in your BTP subaccount represents an application role in SAP Cloud ALM. Select the desired role collection. To remove a role collection assignment, choose Remove next to the role collection you want to unassign. If you want to give authorizations to a new user, first create their user record. Select Add User. Please remember, before you can add a user to SAP Cloud ALM, it's important to ensure that the user's identity exists in your identity provider. Without this prerequisite, the user won't be able to log into SAP Cloud ALM. If email address is set as the primary ID value in your identity provider's settings, enter the user's email address here. Note that if you've chosen a different ID value for your users, you will need to fill in the user ID next to the email address field as well. Next, assign the necessary authorizations to the user. Once you've entered the details and assigned the authorizations, choose Save. The user will receive a welcome email informing them about their user creation in SAP Cloud ALM. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about user management in SAP Cloud ALM, check out our in-app help which contains useful links and more information about the key features. AI-generated audio.